Hello, hello! This is Isaiah Ramos here at Alton, Texas. We are going to be checking out a beautiful new construction listen coming up. It is an affordable home here at Alton, Texas. Over 1,400 living square feet. It may be a one car garage, but beautiful house. It, it will be listed for 221, 200. Beautiful home, landscaping done, and a pretty spacious backyard, you guys. You guys are gonna be in for a treat. Let's begin the tour. So immediately it's gonna be a brick exterior with some stone accentry, one car garage, one car driveway leading to the garage itself but it's actually a two-car driveway so if you wanted you could park inside a vehicle and then have multiple vehicles parked in the driveway if you're doing like a little hosting or maybe it's christmas whatever the case may be you got plenty of space or heck you can even park right across as well no home is situated there yet but very excited to show the inside you guys as you can tell, beautiful light fixtures. It is built by MNS Construction. This is the front patio. Beautiful brown door. The little glass panes are glazed. And of course, you get a doorbell. And it works. So you got this little outlet. Again, landscaping done. And then cement foundation. And immediately you're fronted with the dining area. So immediately to the right of the front door, coffered ceiling, two windows, and then you get your front door, which is the foyer. You could set up a nice table right over here, connect like a little lamp, and then you got the light fixture up there. Very, very nice. And then over here, you got the kitchen so you got some cabinets you got these little cabinets right here they're actually right next to the refrigerator space crown molding on top as well and then you got that beautiful quartz countertop love that little somewhat of a farmhouse style design and then you got some cabinets on this side over here so that's always good to have and then you got your light fixtures, faucet, two-sided sink. You got three-inch baseboards, and you got 24 by 24 tile all throughout the house. And then check this out. You got the cooking side. <laughs> so got more space over here. This could be your pantry over here, quartz countertop. You got your little dressers. You got your spice rack and then even more cabinet space on both sides. Of course, you have your range hood, porcelain tile, GFCI outlet. So if there's ever water, you know, you're cooking and you're boiling some water and it spills into that outlet, it'll immediately shut off. And then some more cabinet space. Of course, you got your dressers and then this should open up to the center space. So they got leftover material there. And then of course, right next to it, you got the living room. You would want to mount your TV right there. You got your couch set up. You can't mount the TV on this side, but it's good because you get a lot of natural light from this corner alone. Save some energy during the, during the day. We well, almost stumbled upon my own words there. And then you get a nice light fixture. And you got these nice windows over here. Nice, nice. You got the neighbor house. <laughs> And then it's also gonna be listed for the same price. And the video should be coming up as well for that one. And so we're gonna make our way over here. But I like this uh, listing because it's affordable um, housing, kind of coming back our way. Um, listed at uh, about $155 a square foot. And so the average market, at least here in Alton, Texas, we're gonna be looking at, you know, the 160s, the mid 160s to, you know, pushing 170. So I'm glad that, you know, we got some affordability coming our way. 
especially in primes per square footage. So you got two emergency exit windows in the primary suite. And then of course you got the comfort ceiling with like lighting, LED lighting within those crevices. And then over here, we're gonna be getting, of course, the full bathroom. Even got some dressers here at the very bottom. Quartz countertop, two sinks, black fixtures, and then beautiful black light fixtures as well. Now, of course, you got the mirror and you even get a towel rack, which is good. Towel rack is right there as well, because trust me guys, I've seen more expensive homes and the builder forgets to put towel racks and they even flinch an eye if you request them to put it. But here they don't. So beautiful towel all throughout and got your little windows, get some natural light, which is good. And then we'll make our way over here. So this little room over here is going to be the walk-in closet. You have shelving, metal racks, cubbies, and dressers. And then you even get a little linen closet over here. It's pretty good. I can even fit inside here. Look at that. I'm fitting inside pretty good. So you get some decent space. And then you have your private commode. You have your toilet paper holder. Again, another thing that, um, you know, they're including with the home. Because like I said, believe it or not, a lot of builders don't want to include it. Their argument is, well, some clients usually just want, you know, those standalone toilet paper holders and, uh, you know, they can get it themselves. But, you know, it's always good to have those little small details in a home, in my opinion. And then, of course, you got the AC on top. You always want to make sure that you get a home inspection done to make sure that the AC is properly, properly installed. You have two emergency exit windows in this first guest room. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a 24 by 24 tile flooring all throughout the home. And shelving, metal racks. You even got coffered ceilings here. You could mount your TV there and then set your bed up like this or set your bed up over here. And then you got a full bathroom over here. Hey, hey! <laughs> Quartz countertop, dresser, cabinet doors, toilet, get your little space up there. And then you got your walk-in shower with even more natural light in this shower. And then over here, you got another linen closet. That's always a big win, you guys. And then on this one, you got the utility room. You got your cabinets with uh, crown molding at the top, recessed lighting, the entrance into the attic, little window water boiler and then you got your thermostat over here you got your outlet to the left and then over here the final guest room with comfort ceilings an emergency exit window and a decently sized closet space that is always a win and then now we can make our way into the backyard and so I didn't get that started. So in the backyard, you get a pretty nice sized back patio, brick all throughout. They even have a connection out here so you could set up your TV. And then on this side, you can open this garage. So it's a double-sided garage. Now the only caveat is that this garage does not have an entry into the home, but you press this button, it opens up. You can park your car and it has its little automatic entrance and this will take us back to the front yard and then back over here. So we're going to go ahead and make our way into the official backyard. Pretty nice size back patio so you can actually have like a cookout and have guests come on over through here. Now if they need to access the interior of the home of course there's a back door right there. And you get a nice sized backyard. And we're gonna make our way over here 
typically the property line is going to be where the fence is kind of ending at but you know this is why you need to conduct a survey so that way they can put the sticks on the property lines and so that way you can determine what the actual dimensions of the lot are in person on paper of course you know it's easy to see but one thing's to see it in person and another thing's, another thing's to see it on paper but this is the backyard it's not too small i think it's a decent size it's a perfect starter home in my opinion um, especially with the price per square footage you get a spigot there you can build equity over time once you're ready to upgrade into a bigger house of course rent this one out that's extra income you get your ac compressor here you got the uh these guys so these are what we call in spanish la llorona so basically in spanish la llorona is like the crier and so when these start leaking water they're crying to some extent but to let you know that something may be wrong with the ac or water boiler so it's always good to have of course you have the little exhaust vent for the dryer and then you have another exhaust over here this is going to be from the master bathroom you always got to have those it's that little square right there and then yet another spigot over here and then you got a nice beautiful tree that's going to be growing for you and over time it's gonna mature and look beautiful but you guys this is the affordable homes here at alton texas you guys let me know if this is worth it or not do not forget to like comment share and subscribe but most importantly you guys god bless you all stay safe and i'll see you on the next one